I thought our players came out and played um, a little tentative in the first half, um, but we picked it up in the second half, which is very indicative of the second half being 35-33. Um, and it's just a lesson to our kids. You, know, you can't go down by 20 at the half and then get you a whole game from the SEC. Talk about a little bit more about that being tentative. Was it because of maybe their little size inside, being on the road, or just what do you attribute that, that tentative start to? Um, I, I don't really know. This is my first team, first time with this team. Um, different environment, you know, a lot of fans. Um, not not really sure. It shouldn't happen. You know, it just it shouldn't happen. And hopefully, as we grow and learn, it'll never happen again. Talk a little bit about the early though. It seemed like Pratchett was able to hit some down there. Also able to control things inside a little bit with Bone and Bell Bellick. Yeah, if I had Bone inside, I could control the inside also. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean she's, she's probably one of the best post players in the country. Uh, you know, whereas we're trying to defend her. You know, with a kid that played less than uh, two minutes last year. You know, so it, it's, a, it's a tough matchup for her. And then you come in with a freshman trying to guard her. I mean, that's that's not going to happen. Kelsey Bone is too good for him both of those situations. What what is it that makes her so good overall? Are you really asking me that question? <laughs> I can't quote myself, so that's fine. <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> How about the words coming out of my mouth will be exactly right. what you say. Right. Right. Very big post player, very active inside, strong, okay? can't stop her inside. Those words sound very familiar to you? Right. Right. Any more crazy questions? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. Good luck to you, Thank you. Thank you.